Welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, we've got Simon Pender, uh, Ben Wilson, and Rebecca, or Beck Roberts. He likes Beck, apparently. So <laughs> we're going to do some game fishing out of the Shoalhaven. It's early. We've got some burley in the water, trying to get some slimy mackerel, even a few yellowtail to start with. We're going to head how far out, Ben, are we going? Oh, about 30 k. At 30 k, so a bit of a run. We're in, the, we're in the big boat. The weather's actually being really kind to us. Big southerly yesterday, it's backed off. There's been striped marlin around, black marlin, a few dolphin fish as well. So I'm pretty pumped. We've got the big gold royals here, and uh, we can see what we can find. We're gonna get a few baits first, and Simon's not really delivering, so pressure's on him. And of course, <laughs> Beck hasn't even caught one yet, so. <laughs> Sugar. Beck's finally finding some big slimies there, so I've got a couple on the back, so we've got yellowtail and... Oh, that's a good one. Wow, look at that one there, that is a beauty. So that's the size we want for a black or a striped male, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a good one. We've just uh, pulled up inside the continental shelf, so there's a big drop there, looking at the sand, around about 170 metres, and it just drops away over what we call the, uh, I guess, the continental shelf. The east coast current runs down uh, this time of year from the north, bring all those warm, warm currents, 25.1 degrees. Great water temperature for a, for a dolphin fish, better known, well, a mahi mahi's the right name, we're going to call them dolphin fish. So we've just pulled up on, on a fish trap. I'd say maybe even a lobster trap inside the shelf. So we're going to have a cast it in. We've kept away from it. We've put the electric motor down and, and we're parked. There's a fair bit of tide running downhill. So we're going to have a few casts and then just sneak around and see if we can't find one. But it'd be awesome to catch one um, off the surface. If not, we've got some live baits and we'll deploy a few of those. So how come you get first cast? Oh, that's what I was going to pass this over and go ladies first. Oh. <laughs> uh, That's the way to do it. What's happened there, mate? You've, you've, you've oh, yeah. switched over to a livey? Or... <laughs> Swapped over to a livey, it was straight on. I'll give you that. Yeah. Cool. He looks a little bit bigger. Good fun on the lighter tackle, mate. That's why it always pays to have that sort of that. This is a 20 to 40 pound rod, PE 2 to 4, but that anywhere that's 6 to 10, 10 to 15 kilo spin rod. You can throw chromies for tuna. Um, you can have some fun because you don't always find great big fish. And fish like this are really good fun when you match the tackle. And yeah, that's the next size up. Oh, Beck's on the net. Pressure, the pressure switch. <laughs> Straight, Straight in. in. <laughs> All right, swing him up here. Mate, I'll, I'll pick your fish. I reckon you've beaten Simon yeah, Pender. Yeah, I reckon I've got him there. That is the most important <laughs> thing. So he's got that circle hook pinned in there, live bait. And look, they're, they're quite a good eating fish too, dolphin fish. This one's bled a little bit, so we might even yeah. dispatch him, bleed him out it's properly, good, yeah, yeah. put him on the ice, and we'll hang on to that one. Got him on. Oh, yeah, oh he's sort. A little bit better. <laughs> oh, how's the aerials? <laughs> Oh. He's excited. <laughs> oh, look. Anything that jumps out of the water just gets you going. And what you can do, I haven't got my sunnies on at the moment, but if you have a bit of a look with the polarised sunnies, Beck's got hers on, Beck. See if you can see a bigger one there for me. Oh, oh, there's oh, there is, oh, yeah, oh there's, there's a good a big one. one in there. There's a bigger one. All right. Let's see if I can just take a wrap on this one. I'll just tuck that out of my shirt. See if we can't take a wrap and give him the old up and under cuddle like that. Oh, 
So Bex madly casting out the other side. They are the hardest fish in the world to hang on to. If you give them a ring grip like that, look at that. Check that out. They've got those grasping teeth. Look at the blue lipstick this thing's got on. It's not as good as Beck's pink lipstick that she's got on today, but this one's got bright blue lipstick, that big dorsal fin that goes the whole length of the fish. They're a cool looking character. There's a bigger one there. We're going to see if we can't catch that one. All right, bud. Off you go. Cool as that Mako shark. That is just amazing. No, I'm not sure what that would weigh. We're talking a couple of hundred kilos. And he, oh, he's just, I think he's just eating our live bait at the back of the boat. Have you got him on there? Yeah. He's gone. Oh, he might jump here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've been, I've been filming real action for a long time, and I'm telling you, in all the years I've been doing fishing television, that is the most spectacular thing I have ever seen. That's a 250 kilo Mako shark. Oh man, that was unbelievable. That is the coolest thing ever. You never know what your day's gonna bring. We've come out here, we're looking for a, a male and a striped male and a black male, and we, we've had some fun with some dolphin fish, but I gotta tell you, I will, I will not forget that in a hurry. That was, man, that was unreal. How you going there, mate? Yeah, starting to hurt already. <laughs> so our Mako fishing tackle. Yeah, 100 pound leader in a circle hook. Yeah, so we've got a 90 inline circle hook, which is what we use for catching marlin. This is um, what we call 50 pound, 24 kilo tackle and a 24 kilo game rod. So all those roller runners, that helps keep the line nice and cool when it's zipping through. And uh, as far as the acrobats go, you've done a lot of fishing down south yeah. here, both you and Simon. Have you seen one put on a show like that at no, the side of the boat? No, not quite like that. Um, I've always wanted to. How, yeah. how were those jumps? They were just out of control. So we've got him, we've got him on. So um, I've got to say, I, I, I was speechless. It takes a bit to stop Michael Guest from talking <laughs> at times, and I didn't know what to say when that was going on. That was just mad. So short pumps and wind. Simo's on the wheel. Bex having a giggle. Come over here, babe. So, so she's actually got the harness on. She was ready to go for a marlin bite. And you've been gazumped by, yeah. by yeah. Benny over well, here. Well, I need to take the show now. Oh, he, he can have that one, can yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just popped it. <sighs> finally went through the leader. <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, if you were fishing for Mako sharks, you'd have you'd have a wide leader on because they're going to bite, bite through. But um, I, I just don't know what to say. Have you, when's the last time you saw a shark that big? Come over here, Beck. I know Beck was pretty pumped about it. She's been, she's been driving the boat. Have you seen one jump that far out of the water? I've never seen a mango shark jump Especially that Especially that close, mate. He was, uh, he was about three like, feet from jumping like, in the boat. We're, yeah, we're, we're, in the, in the boat. we're in the big boat, the 7.6 metre plate boat today. And there's a lot of room here, but I've got to tell you, come over here, Benny. I've got to tell you, if, if your fish was going to land in here, I reckon that it was going to be real quiet in real fast. Oh, mate, those jumps were just spectacular. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't seen one do that in a very long time. And I guess they're, I know down on the south coast here, they're pretty prevalent in more of the winter months. The yeah, Makos. all year. There's been actually quite a run of them the last few weeks with this marlin bite. There's a few days where, yeah, lots of guys were hooking on deep fish, they were marking them on the sander, dropping baits down to them, and more of them will make as a mark. So that, that fish would have been close to what, was it three metres long, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, hard to tell, something like that. A couple hundred yeah. kilos? Yeah, yeah, up around 200 kilos, I reckon. Yeah. 
good fish. All right, we uh, well, we're not even set up yet, but we'll, <laughs> we might go back to where all that bait was, try and jig a few more slimy mackerel, and see if we can't catch yeah. a marlin or whatever else comes yeah. along. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. good. There's nothing better than a day on the water, but you want to make it home safely. So remember, one of the most important pieces of safety gear is your life jacket. Eight out of ten boaters who have drowned in New South Wales were not wearing one. The new jackets come in a range of designs so they won't get in the way whether you're chasing a big one or just taking in the sights. Whenever you're out on the water, make sure you and all the crew put one on. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. I'll just mark that there, the bait's right up high here, so within oh, almost to 20 metres, that's a great sign when you're marlin fishing, there's a big hole punched in it, you can see the bait separated there, and running a one kilowatt transducer in high chirp at the moment, and it's reading really, really well, so um, a bit rough and breezy at the moment, we, we can live with that, and um, we just, if we find a marlin somewhere, we'll mark it, we'll keep working that area, we can slow down, let our bait swim down, or we can even sinker, put a sinker on a bait and swim it down into that zone a bit more. So it's all happening, we're just clearing the decks here at the moment. Beck's got a harness there, definitely had a bite, and that's, that's how it all rolls. We mark the fish on the sound and we let the bait swim right down. Give us a high five or something, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. He's coming oh, who's there? Oh, just keep. Oh, can someone stand behind me and hold yeah. on to yeah, my back? Yeah, I got you, I got you. No, no, we just got... Oh, I think you just spat it. No. Unfortunately, um, we lost that one. He shook the hook out. <laughs> you wonder how that can happen with the cir so her circle hooks lock in the core of the jaw. Occasionally, you just miss out. So we've had that bite, but it was good. They're the first fish that we've really seen on the on the sandy. You can see them sitting above the bait. There's a couple of fish there. So obviously, we'll just scale down and work this area. And if we've got to let them swim down again, that's what we'll do. Um, it's always good to see them come up on the surface and eat a bait. But sometimes when they eat the bait down deep, they eat it and they swim towards you. And they get that really good clean hook up, and that's probably what's happened there. Yeah. Damn. I oh, know. <laughs> Next time. Got him back? Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! Yes, we well, we hooked up. We lost one a minute ago. It's been a crazy day so far and the, the weather's actually improving. Just had a bite on that one too. Oh wow, right. Oh, it's all happening. Yeah, oh, we're... Oh, little black pilot. Wow. Oh, 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 go, 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 Simon's got the gloves on, <laughs> Benny's on the whirl. Beck's doing a great job. And what we did notice in one of those big acrobatic high-flying jumps is there's a tag hanging out of the shoulder of the fish. That means somebody's already caught that, that black marlin and tagged it. Oh. 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 They are such cool acrobats. If we took a big wrap on that 100 pound fluorocarbon leader, we could probably crack it off. We, but we'd like to get the fish in and have a bit more of a look at it. We've got a 9-0 um, chemically sharpened circle hook in the corner of the jaw, that 100 pound fluorocarbon leader, 24 kilo or 50 pound game line and that 24 kilo outfit and that big, beautiful, big gold reel. And that's, that's it. And someone who's pretty damn handy at winding them in just quietly. Yep. Forward, just forward in gear. Forward. That's it, steady there. You'd probably go to the left a little bit, you're on. Yeah. Keep going, just forward, steady. A little bit to the left. I'll lift him up, Simon can grab him. Go, mate. Woo! Yeah! So there's that tag down there in the side, and we'll just we'll remove that, pull it down as hard as we can. There's a tag, the number of both ends. So there's the tag. Just taking that, there's no way we're reading that, so we've taken that tag out of that fish. We'll estimate the weight and the length of it, so. Beautiful black marlin. Come over here, Beck. Oh, you've jumped in the middle. So we've got your tag out. Oh, so Aren't good. they a cool looking thing? I know. They're an Look awesome looking fish, black marlin. 
They're sensational. Check him out. Got those bars, and you can tell he's a black because those pectoral fins are not folding back. So, wow. These pectorals here, the ones we're talking about, don't fold down on the black marlin, and stripes and blues fold away. <laughs> That's where they tell the difference. Cool. Cool little fish. Yeah. Nice and healthy. <laughs> hey, high five. Low Ooh, something. Good oh, back, guys. All right, beautiful black <laughs> marlin. Right. Off you go, big fella. Swim him away. Away you go. Go on. Go on. Oh, how good Look at that. that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, good work, guys. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. So this is the tag that we've, we've uh, removed from that fish. Um, if we could have, that growth all over it, we would have liked to photographed it and left it in there. But how good is technology? You've made a phone call to the lads. Yep, call the boys and um, call the boys. pass on the number and, and they've, the details. And, yeah, and they've come back. So details are that it was tagged two months ago. So in eight weeks, it's travelled 248 nautical miles. It was tagged originally off Point Plumber near Port Macquarie. So that's about 450 kilometres. Kilometres, yep. But that's amazing, and, and it was estimated to be around 50 kilos, so it might have been 58 kilos, and we reckon it's about 70, 70 something kilos. Maybe. So two months, eating all those slimy mackerel, they just pile the weight on. But that's a that's a pretty hell swim. There is a bit of current running downhill too. Oh, so there is, and there's obviously a fair few blacks in this water, and you know it was, it was during the tournament they tagged that fish, so there would yeah. be other fish probably in this water that have come through in that same current. Cool, cool information. Yeah, got him on. So we've had a bit of a bite. A bit I must admit, I, th I felt like a bit of a rod grabber then. That's alright. I felt like I dived in front of Simon and grabbed that rod as soon as I heard it go. <laughs> Looks like a mahi mahi dolphin fish, so similar to what we caught before, but might be a bit... Oh, he's not too bad. Oh, so I can grab a hold of this. I'll take a couple of wraps. Looks like a nice, nice little mahi mahi. Here he comes. And he's up and in. All right, now I've got to try and do that wrestle thing. Got him. Check that out. You won't see a prettier fish than that bloke swimming around the ocean. Yeah, all got right. Got a bite there, mate. Run here. Just letting him run back at the bait. Pretty sure he's got it. All right. I'm just going to slowly go up on the drag on him. Just push the drag up and let that circle hook find the corner of his mouth. And we're yeah. tight. Ready for me yes. to see you up, Simon? <laughs> uh, and I'll just clean up your mess on the other side Something here, Simon. Pretty close. Is that too tight? Yeah. All good? Yeah, here he is. Woo Out the back, Jack. Throwing the windscreen wiper. Yeah, oh, he's going. Throwing the Throwing the windscreen wiper. Oh. Yeah, that way you want me to do. You're right for now. Just kick it in board if you want. We're going to get that stretch out of the water. So this one's a striped marlin, so black marlin, a little bit different with those pectoral fins that, that don't fold back. Striped marlin, generally a little bit longer in body type and a bit thinner, and their pectoral fins do fold back, and you can see that as soon as they hook up, and you can sort of generally pick them in this water. Blue marlin are the same. Um, as far as that goes, but they're a different shape again. They're a little bit sort of over the shelf generally in the deep water. You do get the odd one in here, so... Spectacular fish, they look fantastic. If we can get this one close to the boat and show you, the colours are amazing on the stripes. And uh, it's all happening. Beck's got a pair of gloves, oh, gee, organised. She's got the gloves on already. And uh, Benny's driving. And I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just standing here commentating at the moment, mate. Come on, Simon. I'm way I'm mining a little bit faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I let you wander in. You should have had this one too. It's much easier to stand there and wait for the leader. <laughs> Put some work into it. Hey, took a bit of line this one. You had a, had a good go at the start. Yeah. So, we're getting closer now, though. All right, he's coming up and under. You're right on that ankle, mate. Yeah, we're good there. there he is. Oh, the leader here. Left, left, left. Oh, leader's there. Leader's at rod tip. 
All right, let's go, eh? Strike Marlin, eh? Simon? Yeah, Just nice forward there, a tiny bit. Good tip here, Bloody. always back that drag off oh, the half. Look at the... Oh, oh, I cracked him. He's just gone. Oh, Woo! That's all right. Tried, I like the leader. Got him. Good Woo! job. Woo that was awesome. Oh, I was going hard on the leader there, just trying to lift him up. And he's just... Chafed through it. Oh, just rubbed through that leader. That's cool. That's all right, mate. That's I could easily tag that fish. It was right there. So we're, we're going to count that one. When you grab the leader, Marlon, fishing, that all works. So. For your turn to one one in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like there could be one on the bait ball right there, right oh. under us right now. So. We're marking more on the depth sander as we speak. So it's uh, it's all happening. That's a stripe, that one. I think we're a good chance of a another bite before the day's out. So good stuff. He's pretty acrobatic. Not as good yeah. as the Mako and the Black. I think they're winning the acrobatic competitions. But that one took a bit of light, actually. It was good. Yeah, no, he did good. What an awesome day that was, fishing out of Shoalhaven. Doing a bit of game fishing. I'd say that was pretty damn spectacular. Simon Panda, Michael Guest, Beck Roberts, and Ben Wilson. And I don't know what my favourite part of the day was. I've got to tell you, I reckon it was the Mako, those massive big somersaults. Yeah, I think the Mako is pretty good. The strike Marlon put on a good show That's there. That's because you landed in. That yeah. doesn't really yeah. count. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon, what are you going to say? It's got to be the, the Black Marlin. The Black Marlin. Really they were all acrobatic, some pretty good dolphin fish there as well. And you got to go with the Mako because you were yeah, wanting that thing. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was pretty damn awesome. We've had a great day on the water. You've been watching Real Action. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.